Costa Rica is world-renowned for its expansive rainforests and black volcanic beaches. But just as incredible as those two habitats are the coastal lowland swamps that often act as dividers between the powerful ocean and freshwater ecosystems. The mixing of fresh and salt water that occurs in these places creates currents which help cycle nutrients throughout the water column, providing sustenance for a wide variety of plant and animal species. This common basilisk has discovered the rich treasures which are available here, and appears to be in excellent health. As a mature male of the species, he has developed the showy crests atop his head and along his dorsal region that testify to his fitness and ability to produce strong offspring. He is well over two feet long from snout to tail, and is a very capable predator of many invertebrates, amphibians, reptiles, and even fish. A primarily visual hunter, large eyes positioned on either side of his head provide him with a wide field of vision and lock on to any movements that could indicate the presence of a prey item or potential predator. You may know this species by another name, the Jesus Christ Lizard. This title was not given haphazardly. They are called this due to an uncanny ability to walk, or run, on water. Extremely elongated toes are fringed with flaps of skin that trap air bubbles as they dart across the water on powerful hind legs. This adaptation is one of the most unique in the animal world, and allows basilisks to easily escape most terrestrial predators. Even when not running on top of the water, these lizards are no stranger to aquatic ecosystems, and can comfortably hold their breath for up to 30 minutes at a time if they need to. As mid-tier consumers, basilisks act as population control for the many invertebrates and small vertebrates that make up their diet, and also provide a food source for predators such as raptors and snakes that are crafty enough to catch one of these lizards. However, predatory threats don't always end even after the basilisk flees to the water. In this particular swamp, one such aquatic threat comes in the form of the largest predator in Costa Rica, the American Crocodile. Reaching lengths of almost 10 feet long, and sometimes exceeding 1,100 pounds in weight, American Crocs are the undisputed rulers of these lowland ecosystems. Anything that wanders too close to the water's edge has entered the crocodile's domain, and only a puma or jaguar striking at the right moment could hope to subdue an adult. Eyes and nose positioned atop their heads, these reptiles can submerge almost their entire body beneath the water while hunting, and dark green to gray skin camouflages any body part which might give away their location. Recorded biting with around 750 pounds per square inch of force, and backed up by 60 razor sharp teeth. These devastating blows are often sufficient to incapacitate small and medium prey. For larger game, crocodiles will often opt to drag the meal into the water and drown it quickly to avoid any potential injury. Running down the dorsal region are rows of osteoderms, also known as scutes, which are bony protrusions full of tiny blood vessels that function as a defense mechanism and also means of improving thermoregulation. As an ectotherm, a crocodile's internal heat is strongly influenced by its surroundings, and blood can be sent to the capillary vessels in the osteoderms to quickly warm up or cool down. These are also extremely energy efficient animals, only expending resources when absolutely necessary. Perhaps it is this incredible efficiency combined with their general hardiness in suitable habitat that has allowed crocodilians to outlive other archosaurs, such as the dinosaurs, with relatively little change in body plan or ecological niche. American crocodiles are a keystone species on which the health of the entire ecosystem hinges. Once they reach adulthood, crocs are apex predators, helping to control the populations of their vast array of potential prey items and thereby ensuring that the entire system remains balanced and healthy. 
Included in their diet are many large mammals that are similar in size to humans, which has historically led to conflicts between man and reptile. However, so long as their power and hunting prowess are properly respected, these animals pose no threat to human beings, and certainly incur exponentially more ecological benefits to our society than costs to our safety. Well everyone, that's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed, and learned something new about the common basilisk and American crocodile. If you did enjoy, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on this video, and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content coming every other Saturday morning. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere! This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.